Hi guys! I'm here today with my latest paper gown. My name is Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place. Um, I do lots of unboxings and shopping and hauls so if you like that kind of thing please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a message. I can never wait when paper gang arrives. It arrived just now. <laughs> And I ran upstairs, refreshed my lippy and jumped straight on to show you because I love Paper Gang. I do have some others that I'm supposed to be filming today and hopefully I will. But, mmm, Paper Gang. So let's see what's in it. I don't remember what the theme was going to be for Paper Gang this month. So this is going to be a real surprise. Some things I remember. I know the uh, Rowan Berry box this, this month is bees. But I don't know what this one is. So here we go. So I open it up and that's what I see and as usual it explains all about how it works on the lid and that they plant a tree for every four boxes that are sold and then inside you get it used to be a booklet you, now it's more of a fold out leaflet with a list of what's in it and this is box number 61 i've never noticed that before but it's box number 61 and then the items tend to be wrapped really beautifully i mean this is this happens to be orange and it's got all stationary type things on it i'm sure oh i can actually i was going to say i'm sure there are people out there that are able to save the paper and this time i've been able to because it's really cute for wrapping a silly little gift in so here we go first up first out of the box is a ton of envelopes now does it say how many mm. 16 envelopes in four different designs printed on environmental paper how cute are these so the orange ones there's orange and it says happy mail there is blue i don't know is that digital that says oh hi orange checks that say greetings and blue stripes that say hello i love that you know i like to write to people so um yeah this will be winging its way to people because with it is a pad of writing paper hello it's me it says on the front and inside the writing paper is the corresponding color to the envelope although i suppose you can mix it up if you want what i like about it i don't know if this will come across but it's actually very faintly lined so it's like writing on unlined paper which i was always told was sort of slightly more fancy uh -oh. um but you have these really faint in fact it shows up a bit more on the orange i think can you see the lines it's good for me because i'm a wanderer when i write i you know and i can end up sort of by the bottom my, my writing is off at an angle some people have beautiful handwriting i'll tell you one of the ladies who does on here is marie marie has written to me fabulous handwriting mine mm, no not so much tends to look like a kid's been doing it but i'm really pleased with that so that is how many sheets did it say um 32 sheets of paper in, in, in the pad and then 16 of these fabulous fabulous envelopes love it i don't know what the theme is the theme is not coming across to me it's just a fun one i think next out of the pack is 60 sheets of hmm what is it oh they're sticky notes 60 sheets of sticky notes i use sticky notes everywhere absolutely everywhere and again they've got really really cute 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 designs on them ah uh, there's the blue stripe orange spots i love a good sticky note and that's a good size actually for me with my scrawling handwriting i tend to write like little um messages to self and stick them on my purse <laughs> i stick them all over the place but that's one of the i whip my purse out and a whole load of sticky notes go flying everywhere and it's notes about the size of something that i'm looking for or um something i need to pick up from the supermarket or a reminder to phone somebody so i, I, I would have done a couple and then stuck them to the back of my purse <laughs> so i'm happy next out is a stencil what does it say about the stencil um it's a metal what was it yes it's a metal stencil blue with geometric shapes on it yeah that's kind of nice for someone like me who is not arty i i feel arty 
I like art. I like to look at it. I'd love to be able to do it. And sometimes I sit and analyse the little sketches that people have done and I think, oh, I could totally do that. But between my head and my hand, it fails. It fails completely. So, um, yeah, anything that helps me get some nice shapes, I'm happy with. And it's metal. It really is. I don't think it could be because it's so smooth feeling. Although metal is smooth. But you know what I mean. There's no sharpness to it. So a stencil. Then a roll of washi tape. You can never go wrong with washi tape, can you? I use it for just about everything. I don't think anybody now really, in my house anyway, when they have presents, gets ordinary sellotape sticking their, <laughs> sticking their wrapping paper together. I tend to use washi tape because it's just so pretty and it adds a, I don't know, a certain something to the parcel when you get the right one for the right paper. So washi tape. And then two rainbow gel pens hang on hang on i've got to have a look at this two high quality transpa transparent pens with rainbow gel ink i wonder if that means that it'll start out can you see the colors in there it'll start out writing purple then one day it'll go to pink to blue to green to orange to yeah i wonder if that's how these work <laughs> it's a fun idea though isn't it and totally goes with this sort of, i mean if i hold this up now with the sort of jazziness of everything that's in here. I think that this is April's box, but I'm not sure. I never am sure. Let me just see if there's anything on the leaflet to tell me. Well, all of this art was designed by Jamie Mitchell. This is what I mean about loving art, but not being able to do it. This chap, Jamie, has sat down and created all of these things, with the different shapes and the different styles. Whereas I just can't do it. So anyway, that's Jamie Mitchell. Ooh. <laughs> Poor guy. Putting him on blast on here. Jamie Mitchell designed this month's boxes. A man who's instrumental to the running of Odia Paper Gang and the art supply subscription Artful. And then there's a question and an answer session that he'd done with the author of the leaflet. But he's really into things like identify the core objective, then break it down into bite-sized chunks. That's something I'm trying to learn to do, to break things down. I make these lists, as you know, and I'm learning to have like a master list that just has something really blunt on it, like um, decorate the nature bedroom, the nursery. And then I have subsequent lists that then break it down that little bit more so that I don't feel quite so overwhelmed. And I'm able to score off one or two things every day. They may not be in the right order. They may not be sensible even. <laughs> but it allows me to feel I have achieved something even when quite often I've achieved bugger all. I shouldn't say bugger all, should I? Sorry, ladies. But it doesn't actually say anywhere whether it's May or April's box. I'm going to say April. I think it's April's box, but maybe it isn't. Here we go. I'm going to do my quick recap. The leaflet. Oh. <laughs> Which I pre-folded wrong, but never mind. There's the two really pretty rainbow pens. The washi tape. The stencil. The post-its and the writing letter set. So that was paper going for this month. I love it, I just love it. You know, I get so excited by a bit of stationery. <laughs> now the other thing that came this morning was my scentful. So I'm gonna double it up. Um, this is always impossible to open, one second. I'd love to know what glue they use to stick this down because honestly, it is a scissors job. You can't pull it apart. You get the little card with their um, details on. And then I'm opening the box, pretty box. And inside, scentful for her. Oh, right, so this month I've got Burberry Brit Rhythm Floral and Ellie Saab, Girl of Now Forever. I want to show you something. I liked that uh, Lacoste Poor Elle Elegance so much that it actually lives down here. So if I happen to come down the stairs and find I haven't put any perfume on or whatever perfume I'm wearing has faded a bit, I've got it right by me. <laughs> There's the two bottles, little bottles, spray bottles. So where's the Burberry? Burberry Brit Rhythm Floral. Mm. Yeah, okay. Mm. 
Oh, that smells quite nice. Ooh. Burberry Brit Rhythm Floral Eau de Toilette is a beautiful, luxurious fragrance bursting with floral notes and citrus. The perfect, sophisticated yet playful scent, it opens with well-balanced notes of peach, passion fruit and bergamot with underlying caramel, amber and musk. A sensual floral fragrance with an unexpected fruity twist. Guys, that's really nice. And I'm not mad keen on Burberry. It really is very fruity. It really is a, you know, when they say it's a fruity floral, absolutely it is. Oh, that's nice. I am liking that. So it says it's classed as a floral. And it says the top notes are peach, Sicilian lemon, passion fruit and bergamot. The heart is lotus, lilac and Egyptian jasmine. And the base is musk, driftwood, amber and caramel. Mmm. That is really, really nice. It's like the Lacoste one. I think it's going to have um, a longer life on my skin. Because the Lacoste one does fade after a while. And you think, am I wearing anything? I think this will have more staying power. Oh, but that's lovely. Okay. <laughs> one success. The other one is the Ellie Saab called Girl of Now Forever. Girl of Now Forever. Okay. Oh, I can smell that already. I put so much on. But then one visit to the goats and you wouldn't be able to smell it anyway. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Oh, no, this is very different. Hmm. I'm going to reserve judgment at the moment. It's nice, but I'm not in raptures like I was with this one. So this is Girl Ellie Saab of Now Forever. Girl of Now Forever, oh, what a stupid name, is an eau de parfum infused with good vibes. Its bold optimism emerges, merges with a refreshing wave of lemon zest and raspberry notes. The heart is elegant and joyful, expressed by Rosa Cassia, the exclusive Rose Black Current Accord. Its unforgettable patchouli trail nestles within sensual cashmere and vanilla. No. Don't like it. No, no, really don't Sorry. like it. I can only take that request while you're listening to music or a podcast. <laughs> I don't know what set me watch off then, but I don't like it. Uh, it's a fruity floral, but I don't get fruity floral from that. Maybe, maybe I'm not giving it enough time. But the top notes are raspberry and lemon, so maybe that's what's throwing me off. The heart is Rosa Cassia and Fleur d'Ormonde. And the base is cashmere and patchouli and vanilla. Right, okay, I'm going to flap this arm around a little bit. <laughs> so it's had a chance, it's had the same chance to sit now, these perfumes. So, that has settled back, it's beautiful. It's soft, not as strong as it first was, which a lot of perfumes aren't, but that really has faded back quite a lot. And maybe doesn't have the staying power that I thought it would and that's the Burberry but it is an eau de toilette which I think is lighter isn't it this one yeah I still don't like it <laughs> it's a lot better than it was but it's not my flavor this will last this has got real strong base notes I wonder what it is I've still not ma managed to narrow down the, the, the scent that I really don't like but I mean this one has got patchouli and I'm wondering now whether it's patchouli I'm objecting to I know iris I don't like always thought I did but since I've smelt iris naturally I've discovered no I really don't no no no, no, no. um so yeah so that one is really pretty and soft and gentle and I will happily use it which is the Burberry but as I say I'm not sure not sure it's got staying power. Whereas the Ali Saab, oh, that's awful. Anyway, that's me. Load of chunk drink, paper gang, and scentful. <laughs> I've got more videos to film. So um, I should be going and taking a break and then coming back and doing a few more and sort of catching up with myself a bit. So that's it. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you're happy wherever you are. And um, take care, guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.